I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. So this is a Home Bargains Christmas haul. I've got some lovely things to show you from Home Bargains. So if you watched my video from a couple of weeks ago, no actually it was just last week wasn't it, I did um, a come Christmas shopping with me and we went to Home Bargains and B&M and I showed you everything in store and I picked up a few bits. So this is just the haul from the shop the other day. Um, so I really hope you enjoy it. Home Bargains was just, I walked around last time I went and it was just full of such amazing things and it's so reasonable. So you just come out with all sorts. So I've got lots to show you. I've got some decorations. I've got some coffee bags. I've got some all oh, sorts of things over there. And yeah, just advent calendar baubles, some winter things, a Christmas Eve, like little box I'm gonna be making up for Toby. So loads of different things to show you. I don't know if you saw, but I did an extra video on Wednesday. So I filmed a quick B&M haul of just a few bits I picked up in B&M. So I'll link that below in case you um, didn't manage to watch that. So I'm gonna be doing a few extra videos in the run up to Christmas because I've been buying some gifts and decor and different things. So I've got a few extra trees this year to decorate. So I needed a few extra baubles. So mug of the day, I'm gonna do first and then I'm gonna get on with my Home Bargains haul. I actually haven't got that much. I was sort of putting it all out and I've got quite a bit, but it's not like, it's not a crazy, it's not gonna be the craziest longest video ever, but there's some, gorgeous things in this video. So this is my mug of the day and I actually got this in a charity shop last week. It's got a little, is that a wolf? Are you a little wolf with a scarf? It's very cute. I thought this would be nice for Toby having hot chocolates. It's got little Christmas trees all around it and I think it's been hand painted and the make is, it says J-O-Y-Y-E. Joy, joy, and this was, I think it was pound twenty nine actually from the Children's Society. I've got a water and this is my mug of the day. Oh, that's a weird mug of the day, wasn't it? It was so cute. It was like this nice little size and I just thought, yeah, that'd be good for Toby for his hot chocolates. So that's my mug of the day and I'm gonna start off with an advent calendar. Oh, it's the 1st of December today, I think, isn't it? So happy December. I got this for Toby, um, so he's gonna be using this from today. Kinder Advent Calendar, pull it back from, there you go, Kinder Advent Calendar. And this was, I um, don't even remember watching the video, but this was 3.79, I think. Um, so I was gonna get a different one, but I thought he loves Kinder. So I thought I'll treat him to the more expensive one. Normally I'd just get like the 1.99, you know, the normal little, little ones you can get. So I thought I'd treat him to a Kinder Advent Calendar. So that was £3.79, I think you get a special one. Do you get a good one on Christmas? Or is it all the same? Oh no, there's no one, there's no good one. You just get 24, you know normally you get lots of little ones and a good one on Christmas Eve, but just 24 good ones. So they'll be really nice. So a little kinder advent calendar. So I'll get that ready for Tobes. And then talking of Toby, I'll show you his Christmas Eve box. I got him some magic um, touchscreen gloves. But only 80p, how good is that? 80p for magic touchscreen gloves so you can use your phone whilst you've got these on. So I thought I would get them for Toby because it's quite hard getting kids to wear. He's 11 by the way, he's gonna be 12 in oh, in a few weeks actually. Um, so it's quite hard to get him to wear scarves and gloves, but I think he'll like them because he can like use his phone as well if you wanted to, you know. Um, so 80p for those little magic gloves. That's not for the Christmas Eve box, that's just some gloves for him. Um, so just, yeah, I'll do this Christmas Eve box then, shall I? So just gonna be getting together a few little things like socks and some nibbles um, and some hot chocolate things that I found in B&M. So they're actually in the video I did the other day. So I'll put those in this Christmas Eve box. So in here, I saw this and it's a Grinch chocolate. Grinch bomb. Oh, you can, this is a hot chocolate as well. Or you can, I suppose you can just eat it. Um, so this is a Grinch bomb mug melt with chocolate chips and marshmallows. I'm sorry, it's getting a bit dark. It was really bright and sunny earlier, but it's getting a little bit dark. So I hope this light is okay. Um, so I think he'll like that. He likes the Grinch. There's so much Grinch stuff in home bargains. It was just, there was shelves of it. Shelves full of Grinch stuff. I think everyone's gone Grinch mad. They love it. This is peppermint flavor. So you can just put him in a mug of milk. So yeah, it says on here, um, heat three quarters of a mug of milk until warm. Carefully add the Grinch mug melt to the warmed milk and allow it to melt. Then you can eat it. So yes, there's the little, the little Grinchy thing. I also got him a little tin of um, gingerbreads. 
So these were like £1.29, I think, these little tins. They're so cute. They're obviously a, a Christmas decoration as well, which I thought was lovely. So you can put them on your tree and, uh, and then inside, so you can use them year after year. Inside, you've got some really cute mini gingerbread men. How lovely is that for like £1.29? It's a lovely little thing, isn't it? So yeah, the little gingerbread man. And then I got this. I nearly didn't because it's a bit silly, but then I thought... He's 11 and as soon as he's going to be like older and he might not appreciate things like this but i thought he'll he'll love this now um because it's a bit weird so i got him some weird grinch popcorn <laughs> this is actually 2.99 so it's quite expensive but i know it he'll love it so I, he's not going to eat all this in one go by the way so i'll just let him have some of the popcorn and maybe i'll put the other hot chocolates for, for christmas or something so maybe he could just have these I'll have to help me eat them, I think. Otherwise, he'll be he'll be bouncing off the walls. Um, so Grinch Choco Popcorn, Toffee Popcorn covered in white flavour chocolate. So it looks kind of a bit disgusting, doesn't it? So this little tray with popcorn. I was like, oh, no, that's a quite a lot. A lot of money for two ninety nine. But I just thought he's gonna he's gonna find that funny and think it's weird. So you know, I thought I'd get that for him. So I'll add some lovely stuff in this Christmas Eve box. I'll put some. Uh, socks and stuff in there and just add some pyjamas and things as well um, and then what else have I got here oh I got some magic socks for me magic socks magic gloves for me um oh, they say they're men's but they're not going to mind me wearing them are they so ATP for these touch green gloves just really handy so we're watching football um watching Toby play football I can keep these on and then if I take a picture I can still use my you know keep them on otherwise you know when you're really cold and you've got your coat on and you want to get your phone out of your you know and it's really cold your hands get freezing don't they so i can keep them on and use these and i mustn't lose you because i lose my gloves recently i've lost all my gloves so i've had to get a few a few pairs because they've disappeared anyway atp for those they're just black so i've got gray ones for toby black ones for me or lee can borrow them as well and then i did get some really lovely looking thermal socks they were two pounds fifty i got these for myself and they're grey with little pink trims at the top and they are so thick. That was the only one they had actually in this colour. But they're really thick so they feel gorgeous and inside. They're really fluffy because that's my feet get really chilly. My nose and my feet get really cold so I thought I would um, get these and keep my feet warm. And they're not too big at the top so I can hopefully wear boots and jeans and stuff with them and I'll be wearing them around the house. So £2.50 for those. I'll just chuck them on the bed. And then I also grabbed these fleece lined tights for £3. And that's a really good price because I keep looking for these tights. Um, I love wearing them because they're just so warm. And they're around like, I got saw some in a Tesco the other day. And they're like six or seven quid. So £3 is brilliant. Fleece lined Jeff Bank, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff and Co, Jeff Banks um, fleece lined tights. And I got them enlarged, extra large, because I find they come up really small. And um, so I just prefer a nice big pair of tights. But the waist is like, it's not that big. Like, I think that's, I think that's about a 12. Like, that's quite, that's not a, tights do come up small, don't they? So I have to stretch it. Sometimes I have to actually cut the bit here and make them, you know, open them up a bit. Because otherwise they can be really tight and, and uncomfortable. So hopefully these will be good. Three pounds for these fleece lined tights. I'll chuck those over there. Um, I also picked up, this bit boring, but um, this is really good. So I've got some of this deodorant. This is Mitchum deodorant and it's really good. So this is one I keep buying recently because deodorant used to be, I think it was always a pound and then I I found it's gone up. So like £1.25, pound thirty-five, and this one's one seventy-five from Home Bargains and it's really nice. So it feels really sort of fresh and it keeps you nice and fresh and dry in your armpits. So I recommend this if you're after a decent deodorant. So powder fresh, Mitchum for women, and you can also get a sporty ones as well. So if you prefer like the sportier ones, they have them. So some deodorant. I've also got another little tin, a really cute little um, nutcracker tin. He was one pound twenty nine. Always got milk chocolate in, not gingerbreads. That's so cute. In there, might have to. That'll be wrapped up as a wrapped up as a little stocking stuffer. But he's very cute. You in the bag, and then also some chocolate coins because you have to have these at Christmas, don't you? You always have to have some chocolate coins. And I think they were ninety nine p. These chocolate coins from Home Bargains. I also got some make your own gingerbread men 
well, I got the Make Your Engine Your Bread Man kit, because um, usually me and Toby do one of these every year and he, he enjoys doing it and so do I. So I thought we'd, we made some really dreadful um, pumpkin biscuits. I don't know if that was from Home Bargains or from Tesco, but I got this Make Your Own Pumpkin Biscuit Mix. It was really awful. I mean, it's fun making them and decorating them, but they tasted awful. But these are going to taste good. I'm sure they're going to be lovely. I think this was two pounds and it says it includes gingerbread mixture, icing sugar, sugar sprinkles and cutter. And it's actually in a really cute little box. So again, that made a nice little gift, little cutter there. So that's two pounds, um, which I think is brilliant. And then I found these. I was so happy because last year, I think it was last year, it might have been the year before actually, I saw these and I couldn't find, they'd all sold out and I bought a packet and one of them was cracked but I still bought it anyway because the other three were fine. So I thought these biscuits, these mug hugger biscuits, and I got them and they were one pound. Oh, I just dropped them. One pound, how much are you? Oh, it doesn't say on here. Hmm. I think they were one pound, like something like one pound 29. So they're so reasonable. That's a different receipt. They're so cute. Gingerbread flavored. You've got a little um, Father Christmas. There's a little teddy bear, a penguin and a gingerbread man. And look how adorable they are. So little iced biscuits and one pound like 29, I think that's what they were, is so good. Four of these gorgeous biscuits are so cute that you just put them on your mug. They're individually wrapped as well. So if you open them up, it's not like they're all gonna go off because they're individually wrapped. They make nice little gifts, but you've got to be careful because they might break, but they've done really well so far. None of them have um broken. They're just, I mean, so cute. So you just put a little, then you slot them in your mug. So you've got your mug and then you just put them, oh, like that. You go, and it sits on the end of your mug. And they're so cute, I love them. I think they're absolutely adorable. So I actually made my day finding those. So I've got two packets of those, I was very happy. And then I also, I showed these the other day, they had loads of um, sweets, Christmas decorations. And someone did say last week it's because of the new Charlie, and the Chocolate Factory video that's out on the 8th of December, I think. So maybe that's why um, there's Christmas like sweetie decorations everywhere. So I saw these and thought they were adorable. So I had to get three and they were £1.29 each. So I got a little Christmas tree that looks like a sweet. I just I love those colours. The pink and the red is gorgeous, isn't it? It's so pretty. And then I got one of these as well, a little sweetie one, same price. So it's like a little biscuit like an ice biscuit isn't it it's just so lovely <laughs> it's just so adorable like they just and this one as well i had to get the little train and that was one pound 29 but the detail on that it's just gorgeous so sweet it's got glitter oh look hand painted don't they it's so lovely so we've got three of those and well, they said they're made in australia actually on the back it says maxi save something australia and then it's got Liverpool and Belfast on as well. Liverpool, Belfast and Australia. That's what it says on the back. And that is Australia, isn't it? Yeah, it does say that. So really cute. I love those. I think they're just adorable. Um, then I also got some of these paper trees. Uh, these were £1.29, I think. So again, really reasonable. I've got you on here. Are you on? I always find these really hard to... Um, so yeah, £1.29 for these honeycomb paper trees. Sorry, it's gone really dark in here. I do, I do apologise. And these are like, I saw them in Habitat, not in Habitat, but I went to Sainsbury's and saw the Habitat decorations. And these were one pound, no, they were like six or eight pounds. Um, sorry, I'll go over here, is that bit brighter? They're about six to eight pounds, like really expensive. They had some money off, but considering you can get them in home bargains for one twenty nine, um, that's brilliant. And they're quite big as well. And I had some left over from last year and I've put those out, but I just want a couple more because they just look so effective, these paper decorations. And like I said, these ones are nice and big. They're so reasonable. I'll just open one of these up so you can see. And they lasted really well too. So really enjoying all these paper decorations. So that's what they're like. And then you just open them up and they look brilliant. You've got little um, clips at the back. Are they inside? You get paper clips. So you just paper clip the back like together like that. Oh, is it stretching around? Yeah. So you just paper clip the back together and then you've got your lovely little Christmas tree. So I'll set those up later. So two of those for £1.29. I also grabbed some of these massive baubles. So I think this was actually £3.99 for all of these. No, it was £7.99. Um, 
or $6.99. Not sure it was, I think it was $6.99. I think I showed it on the vlog actually. So loads of baubles in here. How many is there? It says 25 baubles. I love, I think I've said loads of times, I love sort of white baubles on Christmas trees and these are these are brilliant. So there's loads in there. Some of them are, are really big and some of them are slightly smaller, but they'll look um they'll look great. So we've got um our big Christmas tree on the landing, which I did show in last week's video at the end as well. It's I think it's actually nine foot that Christmas tree. Um so it needs some big baubles to pad it out a bit so they'll be perfect on that Christmas tree. And then I've just got a couple of things left. I got some coffee bags. I think these were one pound something, one pound twenty five or one pound twenty nine. Um, so these are Lions Percadilly Tem compostable coffee bags. I do like a decent coffee bag. Um, January twenty twenty five. So there's ages left on them, and I'm sure they're going to be really nice. They're quite strong as well. I think the coffee bags. So so that's good. And then I also got these. Oh, I've got some more. Oh, just saw some cute decorations. I forgot about these. Oh, they're so sweet. I'll show you these first. And then I'll um I'll do the others. So right, so here we've got hang on, I need to check the time actually. Oh that's fine, we've got plenty of time, it's okay. So these are lovely and sweet, these little decorations. They're one ninety nine each. A little like a little metal hoop with a little tree inside. I think that's a ceramic tree. It's really pretty, isn't it? And they were one ninety nine. So I got two of those. So they'll go on the the big tree on the landing. Aren't they lovely? Really nice. Really cute. So two of those, one ninety nine each. And I'll put that there. And these are quite funny. So I got some fleece insoles that I bought last year and they're actually really good. So if you get cold feet, like well, I get very cold feet, um, you can actually cut these to size. They're 99p and they really help. So I've still got some boots I wore today, actually. I've still got the ones in from last year and they just give you a little bit more warmth, so a bit more comfort and they keep your feet warmer. So and they're good in wellies as well because you get cold feet in wellies. One size fits all. It says works for most types of footwear and just shock, shock, oh, shock, shock. It doesn't say that. It says shock absorbing for ultimate comfort, stops heat, transfer from feet to ground and I fully recommend them and I'm going to put these in some of my other boots as well so yeah they're really good so they've got a cushioning foam base and fleece and now look at this I saw these and thought they they look like they're brilliant but you never know and they might not work but hopefully they will look do you know you get hand warmers like the hand warmers that keep your hands warm and you like press something and they get warm well these are like for feet so these were 99p as well it's the same oh I've got men's I've got men's. I didn't know that. It doesn't really matter, does it? Or do they have wider feet? Oh, I don't know. I'll try them. If not, I can... Uh... Oh, I think Lee would find these a bit weird. I'll try them. They'll be fine. I'll just... Can I cut them? Oh, I don't know if I can. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it says eight hours of heat. Foot warmers, self-heating insoles, instant heat, air activated, safe and natural. So you have nice warm feet. I wonder if they work. So air activated... These disposable insoles provide safe, natural heat lasting eight hours. Designed for professional athletes, indoor, no, outdoor sporting, or blah, 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 blah. Ah, so you don't actually chop them down. You just wear them. So these can be too big for me. Men's. <laughs> I didn't, I just thought it'd be one size fit. I don't know why I thought that. I should have checked, actually. I have to go back and try them, get some other ones. Over 99p. I did show these on the video, I think and I can't wait to use them. I've been finishing off my other coffee cups and then I can't wait to use these, like doing a little takeaway coffee when I head out. They're just so beautiful. So I've got my own Christmas cups at home. Like it's really nice you know, to go out and get a takeaway coffee and you get a cute Christmas cup. There's something quite nice, isn't there, about having that and about, you know, having a little cute Christmas cup. So I think if you can do it at home, make yourself a coffee or a tea or something at home and then take this out, and you feel like you've got your own Christmas cup. I think this is a brilliant idea. I just think it's lovely. I don't know if they did them before. I haven't seen them. So in here, you get the cups, the wraps and the lids. And they're one ninety nine for all of this. So you get the little wrap as well. And I just think they're beautiful. This pattern is so cute. Sorry, sort of shadows and things. Because of the light, it's going a bit, um, going a bit dark. It's so pretty. So I got this, um, these ones, this design as a little Santa on there and little deer and little Christmas trees. 
I just think they're, oh, they're just adorable. So I was gonna be really happy when I have a little takeaway coffee. And then I also got these ones, so the stripy ones, which I think are really lovely as well. This design though, I think it's just gorgeous. So yeah, that'll make me um happy. Also like do a little mulled wine and take it down the beach or something, you know, go for a little walk and have a mulled wine like in the early evening. That sounds nice, doesn't it? So I got two of those, two little takeout coffee cups. Um, are really cute. I love them. I think they're a brilliant idea. So one ninety nine each for those. And that is everything in my home bargains haul, I think. Yeah, that's everything. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you did, if you did, make sure you give it a like and subscribe as well. And I shall speak to you next week. I've got a Poundland haul for next week or a charity shop haul. I've got one or the other. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be doing some extra videos as well. So keep an eye out for those. And make sure you've got your notifications on so you don't miss any videos. But I might have one for Wednesday. Um, and then, yeah, I'll definitely have one for next Friday. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know your favourite item. Add it in the comments below. I really, I love, I think these are just so cute. And these, probably my favourites, I think, in this haul. I love all the other things. I love the, um, you know, the paper trees and, oh no, it's probably these as well, actually. I think these are my favourites. Home bargains, I think you're one of the best shops ever. Love it in there. But yeah, let me know your favourite item. Put it in the comments below and I shall speak to you next week. So yes, I'll add all my videos I've filmed recently. So I did the B&M haul for Wednesday. That'll be below. And my come shopping with me from last week. Uh, I'll add those below and any others I can find or see. I'll, I'll link them below with my Instagram um, accounts as well. So I'm Kate McCabe on Instagram and I've got a house account called Kate's Georgian Home. So I'll link those below in case you want to follow me on Instagram. Have a lovely weekend. I'll speak to you next week. Take care. Bye bye.